DJHP Gamers here again, and in this episode, I am going to show you how to build this 3x3 piston door with a hole in the center so you can see if there's any enemies coming towards your house. And make sure to go down below, smack that like button, hit the subscribe button, and if you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell so you never miss an episode, and comment down below on your thoughts. But in the comment section, tell me, do you guys think that I should have a redstone testing world where I do tutorials and i also sit here and i edit my redstone things on this channel tell me down in the comments below and i will receive your comments and also i'd like to give a shout out to the one person in here top rhino gaming which i know him there you go brendan i gave you a shout out if you would like that i don't know but there you go um he is in the comments below i will put his name in the description so you don't screw up his name I imagine you guys won't but in this the door can be customized to whatever you guys would prefer the block color to be um it is a customizable door and this door is surprisingly compact so you can fit it in tight areas like in a bunker or a bank um i know on my community map matthew land which i'm thinking about bringing a lot more of matthew land to the channel which i've already have um I built a big bank. I'm going to show you guys that in the next episode. And I'm also going to be showing you guys some of the stuff we have done in Matthew Land by the next episode. Um, I was discussing to Matt about Tomahawk. I already have some episodes already made for you that I will show you. But see how the door opened and closed at that? Because the redstone current does it. So I'm only going to put it in one path so the door can be completely compact. Like I said before, you guys can um, change. Like I'm just using iron block for the door but you guys can customize it any which way or any make and model you guys want it um like i said before just tell me down in the comment section do you guys think that this would be a good idea to have a redstone testing world but also make sure to go subscribe to top rhino gaming or top five rhino gaming i forgot a little bit but i know it's top rhino gaming um but yeah, so see, we have half the door done, we're almost done, and then you guys can customize it. I was actually, the door to my left, which I'm going to show you guys how to build this, like how I am, I actually recorded that, and then I went to go edit it, everything was broken. So I restarted it, and now everything was working, that's how I uploaded this video, and I pretty much just redid it so yeah but like with this door you guys can put it in your bases your your sky bases your mines i don't know i don't even know if really anybody plays minecraft anymore i know i do um so we're just doing the top pistons here um i know i placed the iron blocks but i have to delete it so i know where the measurements have to go because like i'll place them back see but, um, I, I'm sorry if I just, uh, snuffled in your face, which I call that. Uh, my nose has been kind of acting up. I don't know if I'm getting sick. But if you guys think that's gonna stop the content being uploaded, oh, no. I'm gonna keep the content being uploaded. It's not gonna stop. Um, with this, there is an option you guys can add, which I'm not gonna put it in here because I don't know if all of you have command blocks. Uh... Just connect the redstone current to a command block if you have command blocks. And then just put slash kill at P, which does it to the nearest player. And then you can just pretty much just whenever... And then you can just add a tripwire to turn that on. And then if someone that you don't want in there just walks over it, it'll just kill them automatically. Um, Even in creative, it'll kill them because the command block just takes the code that you put in. And then it will use the code. See, there we go. There's the door done. And I also added some walls and stuff so you could see how it would seem like if it was in a house. So I'm going to simulate it. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. So, see, this is it complete. It's very compact. You can put it in your house. You can move the switch anywhere you want. But it's very, very compact. And you could also do this. You can put the blocks here so you don't have to see these big, giant, gaping holes. In between the, uh, if you heard that fall, something fell over. Uh, if you don't, 
see all those pistons and stuff you could just stick those rocks there and it doesn't interfere with the door opening and closing um if you guys would want to build this which this is a tutorial just when you want to go to your minecraft world turn this map on turn a map on and then just watch this video and then you can um pretty much just make it but i think that is going to be it for this episode everybody make sure to go down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you are new go down hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you never miss an episode and make sure to like and comment but i think that's going to be it just like a reminder go subscribe to top rhino gaming and i will see you all in the next episode goodbye